The first and most critical step of every hydro wrap installation is the prep. Identify the defect and type of repair required. The area to be prepped should extend two inches on either side of the repair. For this demonstration, a six inch weld repair will be used so the area to be prepped will extend five inches on either side of the defect. The surface is to be prepped in a manner that provides a clean, dry, textured surface. This is typically achieved using grip blasting or grinding. It is important to remember that the performance of the repair is dictated by the extent of the surface prep. Once the surface prep is complete, the prepped area can be masked off to provide identification of the area to be repaired and give a clean finish. When possible, Measure the fabric around the actual area to be repaired, ensuring the fabric is long enough to provide at least two layers over the entire repair. All hydro wrap repairs require at least two layers of fabric to provide the design structural strength. Additional layers of fabric will provide added strength to the system. The second step is to prime the prep area. Separate the primer components from the wet out components to aid in staging. The primer is provided in a two part system as identified as part A and part B. You will notice that the two components are pigmented with different colors. This is to provide a visual indication when the components are thoroughly mixed. Add all the contents of one container to the contents of the second container. Both containers are short filled to the correct mix ratio so there is no need for measuring. Use a mixing blade on a drill to thoroughly mix the two components together in a manner that incorporates all the material from the bottom and sides of the container. A thorough mix is visible when the product exhibits a uniform color throughout. This typically takes about two minutes of mixing. Once mixed, the primer provides about 20 minutes of working time for the application. The mixed primer is then applied directly to the prep surface using either a brush or spreader. The primer is used to provide optimal adhesion to the surface and to even out any surface irregularities. The primer should be applied thick enough to ensure a uniform surface but thin enough to avoid any drips or runs, ensuring complete coverage of the entire area of repair. The final step is wrapping the pipe. Like the primer, the wet out is provided in a two-part system that is identified as Part A and Part B. When combining the two components, it is helpful to pour Part A material into Part B container. Like the primer, ensure that the full contents of both containers are combined into one container. To ensure the thorough mixing of the wet out, mix materials in a manner that incorporates all the material from the bottom and sides of the container for two minutes. Once mixed, the wet out provides about 20 minutes of working time for application. Once thoroughly mixed, the wet out can be applied to the fabric. To do so, Lay out the dry fabric on a clean, non-porous surface and dispense wet out evenly over the fabric. With the spreader, work the wet out into both sides of the fabric, ensuring complete saturation of the fabric. Once fully saturated, remove excess wet out with spreader and remove the ends of the fabric that have been taped. When ready to install, roll up the fabric on the fabric core and transfer to site of installation. For the demonstrated weld wrap, center the fabric over the defect and unroll the fabric around the pipe. For best results, apply saturated fabric directly on wet primer. It is important that the fabric be installed in a manner that ensures it is snug around the pipe. To achieve a snug wrap, 
Apply consistent tension on the fabric while wrapping. The squeezing of primer through the fabric is a visual indication that the fabric is being installed tightly around the pipe. Once fabric is installed, use a gloved hand, spreader or notch roller to eliminate any air that is trapped in the wrap. Work out any air in the same direction that the fabric was wrapped to ensure that the fabric remains tight around the pipe. Any masking can be removed and the repair allowed to cure at ambient temperatures. Most hydro wrap systems are designed to obtain full structural properties within 24 hours of installation at room temperature. For specifications regarding the cure cycle of your specific hydro wrap system, consult the product tech data sheet. Elbow and straight spiral repairs are conducted using the same spiraling technique. Typically, long radius elbows have welds on either end of the curved section that connect the straight sections. Mark the area repair to extend at least two inches past each weld. Once the area is identified and the surface prepped, measure the dry fabric around the area to be repaired. Initiate the wrap with one full circumferential wrap centered over the weld. Then begin spiraling the fabric by overlapping the previous wrap by at least 50%. When spiraling around the radius of the elbow, stagger each layer to overlap the previous by at least 50% on the external radius. The inner radius is shorter and will require a greater overlapping of each layer. The elbow wrap is terminated the same way it is started with one complete circumferential wrap centered over the weld. A straight spiral repair is conducted in the same manner by initiating and terminating the repair with a complete circumferential wrap and spiraling the span between by overlapping each layer by at least 50%. Both elbow and straight spiral kits include two pieces of fabric that are the same length. Once fabric has been measured, the primer can be mixed and applied to the area to be repaired. Apply primer in the same manner as it is applied for the weld repair, ensuring complete coverage with no drips or runs. Once primed, Proceed with saturation of one leg of fabric. Mix and apply wet out to dry fabric using spreader. To efficiently saturate long length of fabric, saturate short lengths at a time. Once saturated, squeegee out excess wet out Remove any taped ends and roll up saturated section on fabric core. Continue process until entire length is saturated and rolled. When installing the saturated fabric, initiate with one complete circumferential wrap centered over the weld. Apply consistent tension while spiraling to ensure a tight wrap around the pipe. Spiral the fabric ensuring at least 50% overlap of each layer on the outside radius of the elbow. Terminate the wrap with one complete circumferential wrap centered over the weld. Once wrap is terminated, 
Use gloved hand to remove any trapped air in the wrap and to eliminate any wrinkles. The second length of fabric is saturated and installed in the same manner as the first. Initiate second length of fabric over the weld that the first length was terminated on and then wrap in the opposite direction. Apply consistent tension while spiraling to ensure a tight wrap around the pipe. The second length is spiraled as was the first and terminated with a complete circumferential wrap. Once again, use the gloved hand to remove any air trapped in the wrap and eliminate any wrinkles in the fabric. T repairs consist of two short, wide lengths of fabric that are referred to as the diapers, along with four long lengths of narrow fabric. Typically, T's have three welts, one on each leg of the T transitioning to the straight sections. Mark the area of repair to extend two inches past each weld. Once prepped and primed, saturate one of the diapers and two of the longer lengths of fabric with wet out. The diaper is the first piece of fabric to be installed. Center the diaper over the straight run of the T and wrap around covering the lateral. To prevent wrinkles, the diaper can be cut or notched to help conform the fabric into the corners. Install one of the longer lengths of fabric starting with a circumferential wrap centered over a weld on one of the legs. Spiral the fabric with an overlap of at least 50%. At the outlet end of the leg, complete one full circumferential wrap, then wrap across the T. Once across the T, complete a third circumferential wrap. Continue to spiral the fabric then terminate with a final circumferential wrap centered over the weld of the second leg. Repeat this process starting on the second leg and terminating on the first leg. While wrapping, apply consistent tension on the fabric to ensure a tight wrap around the pipe. After the installation of each piece of fabric, use a gloved hand to remove any air trapped in the wrap and to eliminate any wrinkles. The second diaper and final two longer lengths of fabric can be saturated with wet out. Install the second diaper in the same manner as the first. The final two lengths of fabric are initiated on the lateral and terminated on each of the two legs. This is done by completing one full circumferential wrap centered over the weld on the lateral, then spiraling the fabric to the intersection of the T. At the intersection, complete one full circumferential wrap, then wrap around the T and over to one of the legs. Once on the leg, complete a third circumferential wrap. Continue by spiraling along the leg and then terminate with a complete circumferential wrap centered over the weld. The final length of fabric is installed in the same manner but is wrapped in the opposite direction and terminated on the opposite leg. While wrapping, apply consistent tension on the fabric to ensure a tight wrap around the pipe. After the installation of each piece of fabric, use a gloved hand to remove any air trapped in the wrap and to eliminate any wrinkles. For product specific details, consult the product tech data sheet. Contact HydroTech for application specific questions or additional product support. For important product safety information, consult the product MSDS. This HydroWrap installation video is designed to provide the general information required to conduct a successful HydroWrap repair.